I did show them a lot of comparables around the area, what's been sold, what's on the market at the moment, and nothing is actually comes close to 950. 950, so yeah. Maybe. So a lot of three bedroom, two bathrooms selling on the market for around 850, 900. A lot of them close to their place as well, similar uh, floor plans. So, you know, from that, maybe they start to think, okay, well, the market's not where they want to be. So mm. there is a chance that. Uh, you've got to confirm bidders? Two confirm. One uh, is at 900, one is at 9, 920. Now, this 920 buyer, uh, early in the campaign, they, they want to. To offer 930 so by that time obviously they, they will my name is Odwin and just like you I love real estate the difference between you and me is that I sell them for a living there are a lot of things happening in the background of closing a deal and I absolutely love it it's more than what people see from the outside that's why I decided to create a blog called Agents Life that will show you the insights of what we do behind Just the Just a quick chat with Anthony. He's got an auction today at 11 o'clock. Unfortunately, I could not be there. Just got the latest development that last minute, we've got two buyers that will be attending his auctions. And the campaign has been going a bit slow. So we hope everything will work out well for him. One, uh, so I've got one auction uh, at one o'clock at 40. 8 Oakwood Avenue in Nova Park North and then we're heading to 60 Kambara Drive uh, in Malgrave but before all that I'm gonna head to my first open inspection at 1 slash 12 Vincent Street in Malgrave uh, property was uh, passed in last week as you probably already watched in my vlog last week first, first time here in Malgrave or? Uh, no, I've been around in Malgrave for a bit in Malgrave so I've uh, just been looking for yeah. parking for this? So parking is here at the back? Yeah. yeah. Do you know there's a current insurance that they share between the two? No, no, there's okay. not. Yeah. Okay. Is anyone living here at the moment? No, or? it's empty. Okay. First thing first, do you like the property? Yeah, yeah, look, there's uh, a little bit of renovation that uh, definitely needs to be done, especially at the... Um, I think they've done a bit of renovation in the kitchen area, but I'm not too sure what's going on with the wall. Do you know happen there? It's always okay. there, but it, it can be not, it can be open up. So number 29 Vincent, the exact same floor plan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And the so owner opened it up. For? Yeah. I was very close to buying a property last week. So Where about? Um, that was in Croydon North. Croydon? Croydon North. Oh, okay. So you actually travel quite, quite spread out. Yeah. 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 No body corporate. No body corporate, no? Okay, good. Yeah. yeah. Any interest? It's a uh, not for auction, yeah? Private sale. Private sale. So we just finished the open at uh, 1 slash 12 Vincent Street. So we've actually got three people, which is a good sign. Uh, hopefully we can convert them to at least one of them to an offer next week. So now I'm heading to my new listing at 7 Dowry Court. It's in the Haverbreck Estate, an area in Margaret that is surrounded by some of our beautiful houses. The expectation is between 1.15 to 1.25. Uh, not too many inquiries, uh, which which is always concern me a little bit. But it is a good property in a, in a very good pocket, so I can only hope that there will be a few people turning up to the open today. So we'll see what happens. was the first open of seven dowry court total of about eight or nine groups so that was a good start do i want more yes obviously i do but i know there's a lot of stocks on the market at the moment so that's why it only brought in about eight to nine uh, this is my new listing at uh, number two queensberry circuit in waverly park so this property is quoted between 1.2 to 1.3 so today is the first open just listed together with 7 Daori code as well. So hopefully there will be a good turnout to the open too. I asked for 90. Yeah. Okay. We'll do 90. And yeah. uh, is it because you have to sell? Or? No, it's because we're getting married in October. So we won't be moving into it until yes. after the wedding. Uh, so it's having a yeah. What about the rent? Uh, how much is it to rent it out? It means 700, 750. That's all. Yeah. You can always try for more, but no, no, four no. bedrooms, about 650 around here. So oh. this is five bedrooms. So let's say another hundred dollars. Um, so do you like the backyard? Oh, I yeah. love the backyard with the sun. Yeah. So mm. much sun. And we need that. Like it's you know it's gonna be a house to live in. So is it just the central heating and no 
cooling? Uh, cooling as well, yeah. So that's the... Uh, jewel, yeah. Ah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, you, have you been looking in Malgrave? Have you... Uh, uh, Last few weeks, yeah. <clears throat> Just started? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So before was different area. Winter in the south, winter in the Yeah, which we are still looking. So even... Almost gone. Almost bought a in house Glenway, today. Yeah, today. <laughs> oh, today, you, this yeah. morning you went to an yeah, auction? Yeah, we went to an auction. Hmm. Uh, this is sort of what we've been looking for with yeah. the little bit of extra room in the backyard. Yeah. Um, that roller door, mm. things like that. Yeah. That, the five bedrooms yes. not too big. Oh no, we're no. keen on that because we'll probably open it up. Okay. And make a, a living retreat. Yeah. <laughs> but if you're gonna make it a living area, probably not too bad. You can. Well, yeah. you know, it is room. So four bedroom is still. Cheap. And with COVID and you know having that little extra study area, work area. Yeah. Is another. You know, and that can easily be changed back if when you sell again. Drama. This is an auction of mine in Novo Park North. This will be an interesting one to see if we could close the deal today. So we do have one person that is interested. However, they confirm that they will not be making a bid today because they do have pre-approval coming up next week. There, there are other interested parties as well, but not a strong interest. But anything can happen. And it's not like it's a bad property, it's actually a renovated property but you know when a property is renovated across so many different owners, the house has been chopped around, has been knocked around a little bit you know so the open plan is not there, it may not suit everybody's uh, needs. So I want to see if we can close the deal after the auction with subject to finance. It needs to be done around Tuesday or like Monday or Tuesday so he can go through on the contract of sale subject to an end and then we can give the money kind of thing. So either way, it will happen on Monday or Tuesday. Wednesday, we can give at least 5 to 10 percent deposit. Everything will happen next week. There is no chance we can do it today? We can do it today. Sorry, the subject to finance. To make the offer today after the auction, you, you just need like two thousand dollars as an initial deposit today, yeah. and then the balance of the ten percent, it can be in two weeks' time. If finance is rejected, it's fully refundable. You mentioned to us the twenty-sixth of March. You said that's when you get two K. You say today two K. Yeah. yeah, just bank transfer? bank transfer. Yeah. Hello, how are you? You good, thank you. Uh, I would like to ask when did the owner do the re renovation? In the last five years, they, they installed the external window shutters. They changed the cooktop. They changed the heating. And the hot water unit is six months old. Uh, you know, at the back, next to the kitchen, you see the cover area before we tell the owner. They changed that area into sunroom. Did she apply permit for that one? So when he bought, the sunroom was there, but it didn't have the walls. So he put up the walls. The solicitor just got on the phone saying that that rumpus room, in the sunroom, needs to have a permit. Uh, but George obviously didn't have it. You know, six or uh, five years. Hmm. But the good news is Tuyen, that lady that uh, wants to make an offer with subject to finance, right? She's here, yeah. right? And she has confirmed to me that she's not going to bid. However, if the property gets passed in, she will be making an offer subject to finance. And then I have confirmed with, he, with her that she can make an offer today. If everybody can agree on the price, okay? Yes. Her offer will be subject to finance for two weeks. She has the 10%, so she will give a $2,000 deposit as an initial deposit, just like everybody else, just like what you did as well. She called the conveyancer just to make sure everything is, you know, above the board. And then the conveyancer told me that because there is no permit for the rumpus room. Yes. Uh, so I told him the rumpus room is actually already there, but it's just you only put up the wall and the door, right? But the confianza was very, very adamant that you need a permit for that. Most likely it will be passed in unless there is somebody that, that I don't know that will be making a bid. All right, so by everybody that we thought, like Enzo, for example, that I wanted him to be here, he's not here today. Now, I know it's not a great feeling, George, but number one, it's kind of the representation of the market, and two, it's not overly, it's not everything bad news because she's there. She's there to make, to make a deal with us. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't mind where we kick it off. 
Something around 800 I was hoping. I know there's three of you here that want to buy. I'm in your hands now. What do we say? I'll kick it off then. 800,000 vendor bid with me. I know there's a few of you here that want to buy. Happy to see another 10 or 20,000 dollar rise from here to get you involved. But hey, with a whole bunch of noise. Uh, nobody. Uh, nobody. So I tried to speak to another Asian couple at the far end. So they came here for the first time, but I've seen them around and I asked them if the price is right, would you bid? And then this morning she was like, mm, maybe. <clears throat> and then they walk off and then they, they said, we'll come back at the auction. Mm -hmm. When she's a little tentative, yeah. I said to her, like, if you make a bid now, you will have no competition. Yeah, so she sounds, seems tentative, but at the same time, it's the first time being like being, uh, being here, property, yeah. so she's pulling off a little bit. I said to her though, if we're going to have a chat with the vendor, um, shortly after the chat, if there are still no bids, then we'll be working on, you know, the chat subject as all, um, offers. Yeah. And at $800,000, now's your opportunity to do so. Who'd like to jump in, take that opportunity? Finish, and we're silent. At $800,000. We'll pass it in. I think fair opportunities being given, ladies and gentlemen. Under instruction, our vendor will formally pass the property in. We welcome all your interest now. We know you're here. We'd love to hear you. But I just want to, wanted to know if I, I do have any wiggle room here. Maximum yeah, IPT we can afford. Because, as you say, the option no one. No one bid, it's just 800. Yeah. Mm. At the same time, mm. we, we don't want to leave it to next week as well, open it up to the market again. Yeah. This happens every, every week. After the auction, probably get passed in in the afternoon, in the evening. We got a phone call. Mm -hmm. Is that available? Because people get people miss out on another auction, and they come here and they say, "Okay, mm -hmm. we've seen that property. Mm -hmm. That wasn't our first in in the list, but okay, you get passed in, we'll make you an offer." So I'm trying to avoid that from happening. And they like the property, and I was afraid because like she was on the phone, a counselor on the phone, you know. But I feel like the husband, his body language, like let's just get it done, like like almost like he wants to say that to the wife. He said. The absolute max, right? The bank from the bank is 820. So they're willing to offer that 820 with 15th of June. Yeah. All right. Okay. okay. Now I will go back to him. So I will I will try for 825. For 825. So, but I'll tell them that the owner happy to meet you somewhere in the middle, but not 820. Not not, yeah, not 820. thing is we closed the deal yeah 100%. yeah it's not like something that we can put a salt sticker up right away but That's at least okay. you know uh, a buyer is a buyer i think she made a good comment that every other agent ignore her you know but i think the point is like yeah you can't write anybody off yeah so when there is an interest there is an opportunity yeah uh, well, in the end, we got the deal done, mm, and, and that's what's we, important. Yeah? That's what's important. We got we got a happy buyer, we got a happy vendor. Mm. You know, both parties um, got what they wanted, so that's really all that matters at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. just got news from Anthony that the property in Ringwood is not sold. Uh, we had uh, price adjustment, so now they're asking uh, drop slightly from 9:40 to 9:30. Now, where are you at with your reserve? Have you uh, decided? Yeah, we're thinking of 1.2. Uh, I know it is uh, a little bit high, but uh, it is what we expect. And if we don't get that price, I know it not like it. Uh, it will be happy to achieve, but it's what we want. Uh, but after that, we can take uh, it 1.2, it's very, very hard. Uh, we just we just be upfront with you. There, there's nothing sold for that price. The closest yeah. to this is 50 Anora Crescent that we sold last week for 1 million and 20. The reason we ask is, is there something else? Because you can't, your expectation can't be 1.2 because you've seen another sale at that price because there is no data to suggest this home is worth 1.2. So I guess it's just trying to understand how you arrived at that figure. Are you trying to buy something else at a certain price point that, that you need 1.2 to get something or 
why 1.2? Because there is no data to suggest this home is worth that. See how we will meet the cost and how yeah. we So what do you, why one, but what does that unlock? What's the price? Like why 1.2? I'm just trying to understand how you arrived at that figure, because then we can try to do our best to help you get there. I'm not going to say I think bids start off or wherever we'd like. I am in your hands. Who'd like to go first? We do have an online bidder as well today. So happy to see us start anywhere, absolutely at all. All right, I said wrong name. 9.30. 9.30, sure, why not? 9.30, we'll go backwards. I would love to start around 9.70, but 9.30 is a fair start as well. No problem, madam. 9.50? Uh, we'll 9.40. 40 it is, okay. Slow motion, Audrey. 40, 50 or 60, madam? Done. At 9.40, here on the left-hand side, Viv on the phone, what do we say? Anybody else? Now it's time to jump in. 6.36 square meters. If the reserve is not too far, I can be, we can be a bit creative with our suggestion by placing a vendor bid. That's number one option. Obviously, when the gap is too far away, then there's no point of doing that. There's no point of doing that. So mm -hmm. I guess what we want to know from you is that 1.2 purely because you want us to work harder or is, it, is, it, is there another figure that you wanted to tell us? The impression that I've got when somebody says something like that, it's the same thing when the buyer come in and they say 750. It's a bit like that. It's a bit like that, meaning that the buyer is just like basically no interest to buy. No interest to buy. So it sounds to me like that. And of course, the enough price we want to sell. No. no, and we're not asking you to sell for 9.40. Yeah. But we, it is clear we are not going to get to 1.2. Because there's a buyer out there that's demonstrated. Yeah. So we don't, if you would accept a price in the high nines or early millions, We've got we can still play. We can try and position. We can play. To sell to it. Yeah. Really, you can achieve something like one million and one million and fifty thousand. Based on what have sold in the area, this property, and based on how the response is today, if you thinking a million to a million and twenty, there's a maybe. There's a maybe. No, I'm about to make a vendor bid. In fact, I'm going to make a vendor bid. It's going to be nine hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Yeah. 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 yeah, not even at 5,000 to give you the exclusive right to negotiate, not to buy at that level, definitely not. From you, you won't buy it, but it puts you in that position. That's an incredible position to be in if you came to buy the home today. And instruction that I've got formally pass the property. And I welcome everybody's interest now, of which I know there's several of you. To all our neighbors, thanks for coming out and enjoying some sunshine. Hope you On the next episode of Agents Life is something that can sell but needs a bit of a fight. That's okay. I think that's that's the gut feel that I'm getting here. Let me do it. Yeah. How much? Seven hundred dollars or seven hundred dollars. I have a cash money that I pay I pay already. I have a maybe maybe eight hundred thousand.